All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today you join us on a nice, quiet, still day. Work has taken a little sort of backseat for a change. Finally getting ourselves situated in what's a brand new country now, brand new home, brand new job, um, and a lot of different challenges that have, that have been in front of us. And um, you know, today what, what we wanna do is we wanna talk about all that, you know, what's been going on, what our plans are for the future, where we're at, how the car is running, and uh, bring everyone up to speed on uh, on this new adventure that we're uh, we're pursuing. So let's take a little ride together and uh, and bring you guys up to speed. All right, shall we, Bentley? Let's go, Bentley. We're gonna go for a little ride. You ready to go for a little ride? Let's do it, Ben. All right. So it's an absolutely frigid day here, but as always, we're hopping in the C63S coupe for a day of of driving and fun and a day of catching up. Oh, there we go. Exhaust valve on. Let's go. Give her a couple. Oh, here we go. Here we go, baby. What I love about this car so much, you get tired of the super sport design, bang. You just flip it over here. Look at how different that is, how amazing that is. Or bang. I've been working on this one for the last couple days and it's just like rejuvenated my love for the, for what I'm looking at every single day. Then you get your, your music and everything here. This car is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, so here we are. We're in the C63S. Today is a much needed update for you guys. I wanna talk about where I've been, what's going on, you know, how the car is running, what the next chapter of the channel is as we bust into traffic here with this absolute beast. Oh my gosh, she goes, she goes, and I'm in comfort mode right now. Holy! I've been hanging out with my buddy a lot, um, who's got a, who's, who's doing really, really well in, in life. Shout out to Jeff Pepper. Um, you know, he's got three Audis. He's obsessed with Audis. So he's got a Audi TT RS, that's his baby. And then he's got two TTSs. He's his daily driver, once for his wife. Uh, or for his girlfriend and you know he's like he's like when you have a car like this you don't need to be flexing every single day and driving it in race mode and sport mode and you know spending hundreds of dollars every couple of days on gas he's like just enjoy it put it in comfort open up the valves if you have to and you know and enjoy it you know drive it slow and enjoy it as well so <laughs> that's been a real sort of challenge for me lately but I'm, I'm trying to drive it in comfort mode um, what I'm realizing is that the thing when you put your foot down in comfort mode, it still, still goes. She's still got a lot of pep. Just takes a little more of a press. <laughs> uh, but with the valves open and everything, you can you can definitely enjoy the car. So, new challenge for me. Um, anyways, want to get back into what's been happening with the car, where I've been, um, everything that's going on. And in this video, we're going to get to all of that stuff. I'm going to bring you guys up to date, okay? So... You know, if you're into the channel, if you're into cars, if you're into these cool vlogs and stuff like that, I, you know, I urge you to hit subscribe, get involved, join the channel, get regular updates, all that jazz. The channel's grown an awful lot. Um, and I think, you know, the, the more subscribers I can get, this is pretty obvious, more subscribers I get, the more cool things I can bring to the channel, the more I can start to put my, my real job on the back burner and do what I love doing this you know, a little bit more often and providing updates and, 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 you know, doing more things to the AMG and stuff like that. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and, uh, and hit the notification bell, hit like, hit all that sort of jazz, right? Really, really appreciate that. So first off, let's, let's just talk about where I've been for the last little while. Um, I've made a huge, huge change. I've, I've taken a different job progression in my career. I've moved forward. Um, you know, I don't know if everyone knows in this channel what I do for a living. I, I, I think that's for another video. I don't really want to talk about it right now, but I've definitely taken a step forward in my career. A lot more responsibility, a lot more time commitment, uh, but more of, an, of a managerial sort of role, more directorship sort of role. Uh, back home to where I originally was from as well. Um, a lot of sort of, you know, a lot of, lot of crazy changes that were scary for me initially but trying to think long-term about where my future's gonna be um, and, you know, and how, how everything kind of fits in and, um, you know, trying to set myself up long-term, right? So 
big huge change I'm in a different country now I brought my car brought my puppy dog um, just just sort of you know signed um, for a new place to live don't want to give you too much about that stay tuned if you're subscribed I hope I hope you're subscribed because I'm gonna have a full house tour and everything coming up in the next week two weeks of my new place um, it's been pretty hectic I've been jumping around from one place to the next I've been staying with my sister you know an hour and a half away trying to commute to work you know I get to work at 9 a.m. and it's a it's an hour and a half drive so you can you can do the math it's been pretty hectic um, my new place is 10 minutes drive away from where I'm at uh, work wise so pretty pretty stoked about all that sort of stuff um, finally starting to get myself situated I'm in a beautiful city now freaking cold city but beautiful city back where all my friends are back where my family is and if you follow the channel if you watch my other videos that should basically give it away uh, as to where I am at I don't want to give it away right now I want people who are watching this video to come in the comments and hopefully my friends don't give it away in the comments right away but let me know what city I'm in where have I picked up obviously I was in Philadelphia where have I picked up and, and gone back to where am I living now, okay? And I'm gonna give you a serious hint in about 10 seconds. We're gonna snap to it as I drive down one of the most famous sort of roads that takes you into to, uh, to the city. It's very windy, it's not a lot of shoulder going on on the side, so it's very, uh, it's unforgiving if you're a crazy driver. Um, and it's, it's, it's where all the traffic kind of bogs down first thing in the morning and then again at four what everyone's doing the rat race in the morning. Uh, but it's a pretty famous sort of road. So let's snap to that uh, that little piece of the road that I'm coming up to right now. Before we do that, I can't stress enough to you guys how much I love this car. Look at you got your heads up display. You got all the beautifulness of AMG and everything like that. Carbon fiber decked out everywhere. I got carbon fiber on the mirrors. This is the S model, so it's got extra horsepower. It's coupe. We've got our sunroof at the top and immediate power. Let's just give her a little sum. Whoa, God, and that's in comfort mode. I'm sitting in comfort mode right here with my valves on. That's basic, basic mode and it still has that nice, can you hear that engine sound? Just so, so nice. This car is truly, truly amazing. Look at how gorgeous that city is. Look at that skyline. That's where I am now. Boys, everyone should know where I am. And if you're in this city with me and you're watching the channel, you're subscribed, hook me up. Let me know. Let me know where you're at. Shoot me a DM. I would love to come meet up, say hi, you know, go, go drive some of our cars. I'm always down to share my car around. So, you know, if you've never driven a C63 and you're down for, for having some fun with a cool car, let me know. I'm totally down. All right, there she is. Look at that. That's so sick. Sun's not really shining, but such a beautiful city. So happy to be back home. So as amazing as this city is, God, is it ever cold. And it's, and it's been amazing till now. We're first week, second week in November, and it's still... Now, like, look at the roads. The roads are still doable. They're all right, all right? They're not, nothing, nothing crazy yet. Today was the first day of flurries. So when we get flurries, this is what we need. Let me try and do it without crashing. Two over, we got a slippery mode. And all that's doing is just dumbing down the throttle response. So if I try to go crazy on it, I really have to put my foot down. It still allows me to, to go crazy, it just, kind of lags on the uh on the exhaust and everything that were the um on the torque and the power which is good for crazy crazy drivers like me who like to go fast um but yeah this city is absolutely frigid cold let's get that lane and hit it a little bit this car's so fast okay so this is not a sponsored video <laughs> i wish that this channel was big enough that I could get sponsored, but I have to give a shout out to Sonax Alcantara Cleaner, okay? I have to give a shout out, because this product is absolutely amazing. Sonax products in general are absolutely amazing. So if you look at my steering wheel here, when I first got this car, I was the second owner. This Alcantara steering wheel 
I don't know if the last owner must have had like the oiliest hands, but the the carpet like suede like material was just ruined. It was absolutely ruined. It did not look good. This product, literally this product, and all you do is you put it on, all right? You let it sit for like five minutes, then you get a little brush and you just wipe it off. And then you rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. It's absolutely completely, and I'm hoping that the, the camera can pick this up. It's absolutely rejuvenated. Look at how gorgeous it looks. It looks, it looks perfect. And this steering wheel alone is the best in the business. Like it's so sick. Look at how amazing that Alcantara looks now. So every time I put my hands on this thing, I'm just like, I've got this nice plush sort of feeling. It's so nice. That's the way it's supposed to be. The last owner used it so much that it, it felt like it was rubber. That's how much, that's how far gone it was. And I was still able to bring it back to almost 100%. It's basically 100%, right? It's fluffy. It's like, it's, it's, it's alive again. It's rejuvenated. Uh, so anyone that has that issue, with your Alcantara and you think that there's nothing you can do because a lot of people, the dealership, Mercedes, they, oh, they're a piece of work, those people. They told me, oh, there's nothing we can do. I mean, you know, just you know, replace the steering wheel, replace the Alcantara, have it restitched. I was like, what? Thousands of dollars. A lot of other companies, like there's not much we can do. You can wipe it off, you can clean it, but you can't reju rejuvenate that that nice where all the, all the, the, the fibers come back up. They, no one could do it for me. And this product, again, this product is sick. That was, that's what did it for me. So, so I'll link Sonax and I'll link a bunch of products um, from Sonax. They have a wheel cleaner. It's called Beast Wheel Cleaner Tire. and um, It's like a rim cleaner, but it's amazing. You put it on, it gets all red, uh, like purplish red, and then you spray it off and it's it just eats away all the grime and everything. Sonax, made in Germany, That's that says a lot. Um, really, really good brand. A um, little on the pricey side, but you know, if you're gonna pay a little bit extra for products, but you know that they're doing the job and they're they're you know they're high end products, um, I'm kind of I'm all right with that. Versus paying a little less for a product and you're paying twice for it, not really down for that. So I'll link a bunch of Sonax products, especially this Alcantara one, um, in the link uh, in the description there for you guys. Okay, so you can check it out. But this Alcantara stuff is legit awesome it's awesome all right check it out this would not be a c63 sports car owner vlog without a nice pull for you guys so bang 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 and here we go oh she's squirrely she wants to get sideways on me. Woo I want to know from you guys, what do you think about the current market right now? The car market is at a high. It's starting to depreciate. What do you think about the C63 platform? Obviously, I got the big V8. You know, I've got an amazing spec, all black. Um, you know, fully, fully carbon fibered out. All the options. Low mileage on it. Not low mileage, but reasonable mileage. Uh, 2019, uh, under warranty still. What do you think? Do I keep this car forever? Do I keep it for another year? Do I sell it right away over the winter holidays and get a premium for it or sell it where I've been able to drive it for 10 months and then sell it without really taking a hit on it? Well, what do you guys think is the right way to, the right sort of, you know, ownership sort of process here with you guys? I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very interested in what, you know, real sort of, you know, experienced car owners, you know, who understand the market. Um, you know, let me know what you guys think is the best play here. But I'm, I'm, you know, as I say that, I'm like, I don't really want to part with the car. I love the car. I, I would love to keep it forever. But, you know, if I could sell it after a year and, and retain the value of it and then turn it into something different and, and just as exciting, if not more exciting, that could be cool too, right? Maybe a new uh, BMW M4 or, you know, you know, maybe a 911 or something really, really cool that you guys would like to see on the channel. So, you know, comment, let me know. Let me know what you guys are thinking on this because I'm like, I'm, I'm in your hands. I really, really want to have the, the most cool experience, but I want it all to make sense. So if you think this one, if you think this car is going to really rock it up in value, 
Maybe I'll hold it for another year or two years, right? Maybe I'll put it away for the winter, keep the, the value of it high, and then, you know, I, you know, pull it out maybe once or twice in the in the winter time and do some cool sh some cool stuff with it. Uh, but keep the keep the ownership process or keep the um, keep the mileage. The car has been absolutely amazing, and I owe it to a lot of you guys who subscribe to the channel. You're the reason that I've that I've got the car. You're the reason that I'm a C63 Mercedes owner um, and able to sort of enjoy this experience. This thing is absolutely amazing. The only issues I have with the car are. One, going into the winter season now. So I'm going into the winter season, not really sure what to do with it. It's a 500 horsepower rear wheel drive car with Michelin Super Sports on all four sides. It's got a, um, it's got a, you know, a slippery mode, but this thing does not do well in the rain, does not do well in the snow. So I'm kind of at, a, I'm kind of torn as to what I should do with it. I think it, it might be going away for the winter season. The second thing is, you know driving the car you know obviously the new the new 60 uh, c63 uh with the four cylinder hybrid system came out way more power probably a way faster car but just not the same sort of sound that this thing has and so i feel like values for this car are going to appreciate i'm hoping that they're going to appreciate they've they've seemed to be plateauing right now um but I feel like I can get what I paid for this car. That's coming soon, a, a, you know, just a, a complete money sort of video on how much I paid, my interest rate, my payments, everything, cost of ownership, that's all coming soon. Uh, but I feel like I'm inclined to keep this car for, you know, a long time, because I don't think that the value is gonna really drop a whole lot. I'm the second owner of this car. I picked it up with about 17,000 miles on it. It's got about 25,000 miles on it now, and it's, it's just a joy to own joy don't really really love it the things that I've had to fix on this car uh, needed a new battery uh, you know regular oil changes uh, the front the front tires needed replacing super sports needed to be redone that was that was another like thousand bucks twelve hundred bucks US uh, but little things just just regular upkeep the car is like it runs like a it's like a like a it's 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 like it's bulletproof this thing runs so well it's been it's just been an absolute pleasure to to to, to own things that need to be done going forward um, i have a radiator that's that's leaking so this car's under warranty for another year it needs a new radiator um, so i'm gonna have that done um, the wireless charging port that's not working right now needs to be done the um, ventilated seats, that needs to be done as well. These are all little things that need to be done. The car's under warranty, so it should be done no problem. Only issue that I'm having is that because I'm in a different country, I'm having issues with the country here, with Mercedes-Benz here, wanting to warranty my, my things because apparently the car is an American car and they're giving me a little bit of grief. So. If you're watching this video, in the comments section, let me know, is this a normal thing? If you have an American car and you go to a different country, should everything be warranted like, like normal? Like I'm not in Zimbabwe or South Africa, not that far, I'm in another country, yes, but this stuff should be warranted no problem. I had a battery that I that I replaced. The battery died on my um, on this car, and I needed to replace it. They wanted me to go out of, out of pocket to do it. They didn't want to warranty the, the, the work for a new battery. So I paid $400 out of out of pocket. This is not, I don't feel like this is right. So I've got a big checklist of things to do on the car and I'm gonna talk to head office here um, and try and have all this stuff sort of remedied uh, because I mean, the car is under warranty. Why do you buy a car and keep a car under warranty? An expensive car like this is so that when little odds and ends you know, like like the ventilator, ventilated seats go wrong. You can have that fixed. When a fuse goes off for the ventilated seats, seats you can have that done, no problem. It's little odds and ends that you need to have serviced through the dealership, which is ridiculous. So message me in the comments and let me know. Am I out of my my tree? Of a mile. Trying to get the oh, sorry, trying to get the the dealer to have this stuff done, or is this a normal thing? All right. So plans for what I want to do with this car. I've had it for about 10 months. 
Had it for one season. It's been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Still under warranty. If you watch my videos up here, my other videos, I did a chrome delete. I ceramic coated the whole thing. Um, I've, I've kept it detailed perfectly. I've kept it in mint condition. I've kept it mint condition, but stock. Comes with a lot of horsepower, this thing, but I'm kind of dying for a bit more. I'm curious to know what everyone thinks here in the in the, the all my viewers on this car. By by putting a big tune on it, you know, say a Eurocharge tune or a Rentec tune, is the car gonna lose a lot of its value? Or you know, or are people gonna be enticed by that? Am I am I appreciating the value of the car? Usually when you tune a car, that tells the next buyer that the car's been driven really, really hard, right? So I'm a little skeptical to to go and put a tune on it, bring it up to like 600 horsepower, because I don't I don't want to really depreciate the value of the car. So that's one thing. The other thing is, what else should I be doing with the car? I would love to do a track day. I would love to do some sort of, you know, some little races. I feel like when when the snow, if the snow comes here, we're in the country that I'm in. Should I take it out one night and or one day? and do a video on like what it's like to, to, to drive in the snow, you know, the the lack of handling, all that sort of stuff. Give me some ideas. What kind of like, what kind of content do you guys want to see with the car? Because I've, you know, I, I bought the car for the channel. I bought the car to grow the channel, right? Um, what else should I bring? What else, what else, what other videos, what other, you know, cars should I bring to the channel? I obviously, I don't have the luxury right now of buying another, you know, big sort of supercar. Um, but if I do put this into storage, what kind of like, you know, daily driver would you like to see me bring to the channel, right? Let me know. I'm really curious to know what you guys are thinking about this, uh, about my whole situation. So again, I'm in a different country, different chapter, lots more opportunities coming. Uh, in the comments, let me know what country do you think I'm in? Where have I moved to? Okay. Follow, uh, follow along in the next videos. I'm going to do a whole cost of ownership video. I'm gonna disclose where I'm where I'm living now, what's going on in my life. I'm gonna do a new house tour uh, when I move in in the next week. I'm moving into it as I get situated. Uh, but if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, turn the notifications on, hit like if you're enjoying these videos, so I can get more subscribers going and we can grow this channel. Uh, this was just a, you know bring you up to speed where I've been kind of vlog style video. I uh, want everyone to know that my life is kind of changing, but I still got the car. I still want to do more videos. Um, about the car. I want to vlog the hell out of this car, do tons of content and really appreciate or really um, yeah, appreciate the video but really try and get as much footage and, and enjoy the car in all aspects as I possibly can. So world is your guys oyster. You let me know what you think. What should I be uh, what should I be doing? How can we enjoy this car together? Okay? Like, uh, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye. Alright, so watch how fast this thing gets up to speed. It's ridiculous.